All right, so we have the Jack of Hearts in reverse. We have the Lovers in reverse. We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Four of Cups in reverse. This is all from Edgar Allan Poe um, deck. So we have the Queen of Cups in reverse, and we have the Four of Swords in reverse. So they're all in reverse, so we'll see what this is about. Okay, we have Ron Sosak, the luckiest unlucky person ever. All right. Guaranteed. <laughs> All right. Um, so we have a child approach, emotional immaturity, fantasy, insecurity, disappointment, rose tinted glasses, someone who gives their gets their own way, overprotected, disappointment, idealism, moodiness, emotional intensity, rose tinted glasses again, feeling like it, it is too good to be true. So it's twice, twice that this, this Jack of Hearts in reverse came out, um, which I find is interesting. I didn't know I could channel it twice, but uh, maybe it has a stutter. <laughs> mm, wouldn't that be funny if he has a stutter? And that's why those cards, this one card is being channeled twice. Fun. Alright, and then we have relationship issues, broken promises, infidelity, savored contracts, difficult choices, financial issues, uh, frustration, financial loss, uh, marital challenges, career setbacks, family disputes, withdrawal, retreat, um, isolation, acceptance, moving forward, and opportunity. Emotional immaturity, deceitful, manipulative, insecure, neediness, martyr, uh, dramatic, disloyal, um, jealous, um, stagnation, exhaustion, burnout, low energy, and stress. So let's see what this is about. But that would be stressful if you're the luckiest unlucky person in the world. Um... I think there's like a poem or like a whole story about it. I know when I read it, I thought it was cool. But, um, sometimes it has a, has a certain ring to it, right? We have a dog from far away, a distant friend is thinking about you. We have a forest, muddled or unclear thinking. We have a sun, we have happiness and well-being. We have chair filled, someone new is entering your life. We have May. We have June. It can be somebody's birthday or event in May or June. Um, we have Mountain Road. You will you will be on the road to success. We have a ring. A marriage will take place either romantic or business. All right. So with all this, hopefully, you, when you have a bad day, you can think about this story because I know a lot of people are gonna look it up. Um, I do like the weird and bizarre and I like drawing messages for you out of it so you can learn lessons or you can look at the world in a different way or perception of your own situation and just find out it's not so bad, you know, that Dido song, it's not so bad. Uh, Miss Dino, she was so cool. Um. I just like the crazy, bizarre, weird stuff. And I've always been like that. I've always looked for weird, bizarre things. It's because when I was little, I went exploring with my friends and we found a guy that was dead by the, in the middle of the train tracks. Um, and ever since, I was just hooked on like weird, bizarre, mysterious things, finding out things, just trying to solve mysteries, trying to find lost people and stuff. I'm pretty good at it, but I have to focus really well, so I kind of, you know, go into either, when I find a lost kid, I go into that mode of being the concerned parent and being the kid that's wandering off 
And it's hard to be in those two places, but you have to kind of find a withstand of where, where that metro would be. So it's kind of the same thing with bad luck, too. You can read people pretty well if you just listen to your intuition. If it feels too good to be true, and there's something off about it, run. <laughs> like I'm saying, run. Um, it saves a lot of confusion later if you run sometimes. And if it's not a good situation, you can get out of it very easy by running or running to a populated area. I grew up in a in the 90s where stranger danger was like all over the place. So just be careful. Um, also, if you have like a bad day, like you're supposed to have bad days. You're supposed to have good days. You're supposed to have certain things happen to you to shape you in character and as a person so anyway hopefully this helped you out and i will see you in the next reading okay my voice is gone so <laughs> you can imagine i need to have another cough drop but my voice is gone um i recently had like like just no voice whatsoever so i'm glad to have a voice um, even if it's still like a little bit of laryngitis. Anyway, I will see you later, okay? Bye.